In this video I'm going to talk about dwell and the difference it makes to your stitching. I've already set up my patterns uh, that I'm going to stitch. Um, so I'm on the sew quilt page. Um, and the machine has moved to the start of the pattern but before I start stitching I'm going to talk about where you find the dwell button and what it does. So on the screen here I have part of an image, it's part of a fairy pattern by Judy Lyon um, and I'm just stitching the top half of it because it, it shows what Dwell does really well. Down here in the ribbon underneath the image we have this button that says Dwell 3. When I tap it it changes to Dwell Off and I tap it again it goes Dwell 1 tap it again, dwell 2, tap it again, dwell 3. Now what the heck does dwell mean? Well if I touch this button here which says hide DP, now move up to the image, you'll see a lot of red circles appeared. Those are the DPs or dwell points. So when the IQ is stitching along it'll come here and when it gets to one of the dwell points it will pause momentarily before it carries on. At dwell 3 it's going to pause for the longest time um, and you'll see what happens. Now why would you want it to do that? If you have no dwell, if you have the dwell off, um, the, the machine isn't going to pause at all and it'll zoom through those dwell points that you can see in that image um, and that can sometimes distort the pattern. Um, I'll, I'll demonstrate that with a stitch out. We're going to start off though with it set at dwell 3. Uh, I'll st set it stitching. You can see where the pattern's going to pause at all these sharp points. Uh, whilst it's stitching though we'll watch the needle and so you can see what it's doing. Now I've got my speed set to 1 inch per second, my detail 0 0.6 which means if okay, the general speed is 1 stitch or 1 inch per second as it gets to those sharp turns um, it's going to slow down to 0.6 of an inch per second. So not only is it slowing down but when it gets to a dwell point it's going to pause slightly too. I've got my machine all set so we'll wait for the camera to come down to the needle and then I'll start it stitching. You can see the machine hesitating at those dwell points. And there it is at the end of the design. I told it that I wanted to cut the thread, so that's what I will do. And then we'll have the camera zoom in on this stitch out. Okay. So here you can see what happens when you have dwell three. When it came to this point, it hesitated. Did that point nicely, but when it came around to this one, you can see there's a little knot visible. Did that one nicely. Here, another little knot. And when we move up to the fairy's crown, you can see several knots showing where the machine dwelt. Uh, this was dwell three, so it paused there for quite a long time. And that's one of the things that can happen with dwell three. You'll get those little knots of thread. Um, it depends what thread you're using. I set my machine up with a fairly thick thread 
and it's also got green in the bobbin and grey on the tops to kind of exaggerate the effect. But Dwell 3 gives you nice definition. Uh, you can see her fingers quite well and here too. Uh, so now I'll run the same design but I'll turn the Dwell off so you can see the difference. So here's my pattern. I'll just tell it to start. I'll move to the start. Same design. Let me just anchor those. But this time I'm going to turn the dwell off. So I'm just going to tap that button. It turned dwell off. It also greyed out the uh, hide dwell point um, button here because with dwell off there's no point in me seeing where the dwell points are going to be and it doesn't do anything so I'll just set it stitching same speed and everything but with dwell off and we'll wait for the camera to go down to the needle and then I'll start it How there is no hesitation at those points. It slows down a little, but it does not hesitate. is about to break um, but when you compare those two stitch outs this is the one that had the dwell on three you can see those knots showing this where the dwell was off there are no knots but if you compare the points um, it's not quite as defined actually if you look at a hand here and then go over to this hand you can see there's a little more definition here to the fingers than on this one um, now, dwell one and two are just are just slight. Um, they're less hesitations than dwell three. So, if you want a little more definition than this, but you don't want to get the knots, then try stitching with dwell one. The other thing that might happen when you have the dwell on is that the thread might actually break at those dwell points. And if that happens to you, if you find your thread breaking as your machine is turning the corners, then go ahead and look at the dwell button. If it's on dwell 3 or 2, then reduce it either to dwell 1 or just turn the dwell off altogether. Um, so that's what dwell is for. It it's, uh, gives you sharp points um, and uh, better definition of the patterns.